internet, I'm Grace. I haven't made a video in two weeks, and now I'm making another video about feminism. Sorry. This is a video response to Chris Thompson's new video, Has Feminism Gone Too Far? If you haven't watched that yet, you can click the thumbnail on the screen and it'll open in a new window or the link will be in the description. In his video, he had another YouTuber, Jess Lazama, join him to talk about their opinions on feminism and I just wanted to reply to some things that they said. As a disclaimer, I am by no means an expert in anything, really. I can't even legally vote yet. So. This is just my opinion on feminism based on research that I've done and experiences in my day-to-day -day life. Feminism to me is a very broad term. Like most groups of people, there are smaller subsets within that don't always agree with each other. For example, I don't agree with trans-exclusionary feminism, which is the belief that women who are transgender aren't actually women and therefore don't deserve to be included in the term feminism. In my opinion, what makes you a woman isn't the body that you're born in, but how you feel. If you feel like you're a woman, then you are one. Additionally, there are others who identify as feminists who, like Chris and Jess said, get offended by the mere idea of men helping them with things that they can do on their own or by women who actually enjoy things that have in the past been seen as traditional gender roles such as cooking and cleaning. Chris mentioned that a girl that he went out with got offended when he opened the door for her which to me is ridiculous because opening doors for other people isn't about oppression it's about basic common courtesy and being polite. He also talked about how girls wanted to be treated as equals but still want their dates to be paid for and doors to be opened for them and things of that nature. I may only be 17, but of all of the dates that I've been on, I've only had one or two that was completely paid for by the other person. Normally, I like splitting the bill or treating them. This is a personal choice and honestly, I believe that whoever asks the other person on a date should be willing to pay because it was their idea. Also, I'm really not a fan of the word chivalry. I think it's more of just being a decent person and having manners around the person that you like and just people in general. I am a very polite person and I know that I get offended when other people aren't polite back. So I think manners are just a very good thing to have in the dating world. Jess said that she feels like feminists sometimes look down on her for enjoying cooking for her partner or being treated like a lady, as she put it. I understand what she's saying because I know a lot of feminists who want to completely abolish anything that had to do with traditional gender roles in the past, aka the notion that women should cook and clean and be stay-at-home moms and just take care of the home in general. I don't agree with them either because I don't believe that feminism is about refuting all of the traditional gender roles that have been a part of our society for so long. I believe feminism is about realizing that we have a choice in what we do. We can choose to be business moguls or pilots or stay-at-home moms. We have the right to choose and my version of feminism is backed by that. Like with most groups or organizations, some of those who label themselves as feminists or religious or certain political parties are extremists. They don't see a middle ground and do tend to be more argumentative and less understanding about beliefs other than their own. Unfortunately, these people also tend to be the loudest and the most attention is paid to them and it gives the rest of the group a bad name. Basically what I'm trying to say is that feminism is a big thing made of a bunch of smaller things that don't always mingle or get along and judging one based on the actions or beliefs of another can be extremely damaging to the community as a whole. Alright, this has been a video and I'm not sure if any of that made sense, but those are just my thoughts coming out of my brain. I will have more videos coming soon that are not about feminism or misogyny or have any cause. Um, I've just been feeling very social justice -y lately and I apologize because I know a lot of you aren't here for that, but like this is my channel so I'm gonna do what I want anyway. Love you guys and I will see you with another video hopefully in a week, but possibly longer because it's finals and I'm not doing too hot in my classes. Oh, I shouldn't say that, but I love you. I will see you with another video later. Bye.